The president touting his decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord as a victory for American workers and taxpayers. The president saying uh, the country is saved from a deal that would have cost as much as six and a half million jobs by one metric and some three trillion dollars by another. The Paris Accord also would have cut production across a number of important sectors by double digits, including an 86 percent cut for the coal industry. Joining me now to talk about the president's historic announcement today, his continued commitment to the American worker, Kellyanne Conway, counselor to President Trump. Great to have you here. Thank you, Lou. I, I have to say that, that this was, a, I, I mean, a lot of people were holding their breath. Uh, all, a little Trumpian suspense built into <laughs> it uh, with, a, with a terrific result today. Your thoughts? I agree. Today was Trump in full. This is somebody who's always talking about America first, creating new jobs, protecting American workers and the jobs that they have, protecting those industries that really are populated by the forgotten men and forgotten women. Also talking about sovereignty, talking about legal liability, talking about not adding to the $20 trillion in debt that we already have, and talking also about us in this country to stop the madness of funding other people's priorities, where they're not forced or even persuaded to, to conform their behavior. And we're supposed to give money to essentially a U.N. slush fund. And, you know, Lou, if this was such a great idea, then why didn't President Obama take it through the Senate? You know, put it through ratification. He did his end run around Congress at both the Iranian nuclear deal and the Paris Accords. If these are such wonderful ideas, such historic moments yeah. um, for the globalists, then why not? Why go right, right. around Congress? So that's something else. That, that's the way the swamp works and the way that the people that elected Donald Trump don't want the swamp to work anymore. Well, a, a president going to the Senate with an agreement that is a treaty in effect uh, and treating it as uh, a treaty uh, would be a reverse of, uh, of just, a, well, at least two presidencies. Uh, and, and it's just a remarkable thing to think about. To me, what was um, amazing about today is, is the president uh, was announced by the vice president uh, in the Rose Garden with everyone before him. As one, they applauded the president's statements on withdrawal, right. on, on, on sovereignty, on the American worker, on the taxpayer, the two constituencies that he mentioned. He didn't talk beyond that. There was no uh, demographic slicing and dicing. Right. This is about the workers and the taxpayers and responsible leadership, which he intends to set the standard for. And it's why he ran. It, he knows rally after rally, people would stand in line for three hours just to be part of a movement, not a political campaign, but a movement. And a movement continues once you're president, because those folks don't just want you to keep a campaign promise. This is not about ticking off a list of promises. This is about creating a growth economy and creating competitiveness and, 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 and unleashing energy, something that President Trump promised in September, a couple blocks from here, when he gave his great speech about how to cut taxes and create jobs, 10 million, 25 million jobs over 10 years. A lot of that has to do with the 4% growth rate being sustained low and also energy investments. You can't do that if you keep this country stuck in agreements like this that are just a bad deal for America. The president also did two other things today. One is he made very clear that he'd be willing to renegotiate or reenter this accord or a different one. Yes. Very similar to what he did with TPP. Let's get out of it. It doesn't mean I don't like bilateral trade agreements. It means I like ones that don't screw America and American workers. And that's what he's committed to do in all of these. The second thing that was very clear today is it's June 1st. It's not, it's not February 1st. He took months to uh, execute on this. Why? Because he did what leaders do. He took the insights and inputs and ideas of other people who disagree with him, weighed those consequences, and came to the same conclusion. Yeah, it's, it's interesting to the reaction here. Uh, Tom Steyer, a billionaire donor uh, for the Democratic Party. Uh, let, let's put that up if we could. Uh, Steyer uh, saying this, or screaming this, whatever he did. If Donald Trump pulls the United States out of the Paris Agreement, he will be committing a traitorous act of war against the American people. Uh, Steyer, all he did was set the standard for the, uh, the Enviro left, uh, the Dems, who you know reflexively are going to, to shout, uh, again, hysterically at the president for having made a mature, responsible leadership decision on behalf of the American people. Well, Tom Steyer did something else, Lou, over the last couple election cycles. Mm -hmm. He proved that old adage that the fastest way to make a small fortune is to have a very large one and waste most of it. He poured 
millions and millions and millions of dollars into losing causes for the political left and losing candidates based on the same kind of philosophy, the same thing he's criticizing now. Look, I've got a great job. You've got a great job. I've got health care benefits. I probably have retirement secure. I got, I got a, a lot of blessings in this world. A lot of folks out there do not. And that's who Donald Trump is thinking about. He's not thinking about the rich billionaires. He's not but, thinking about the mainstream meeting the Excel corridor. He made a promise to these folks. He sees the shutters being, the, the factories being shuttered. He, the coal miners came to the White House in the first couple of weeks of his presidency thanking him for helping them reverse these regulations. Today's another way to reverse this regulatory framework that's really burdening many workers.